Hello, hello, hello to all of my Virgos. This is Queen of Monroe coming to you with a special reading. I hope you all are having a fantastic day. We are still in Virgo season, so happy birthday to all of my Virgos. Just in case I have not reached out to you, I want to offer my Virgos something. <clears throat> the first Virgo that texts me, not call me, that texts me at 202-460-3205, um, whether you call inside the United States or outside of the United States, will get a free 30-minute reading from me. I want to just, again, this is, again, thanking you all for your undying support and also your kind words, your kind gestures, so many wonderful things coming from a lot of Virgos. But I want to offer you a free 30-minute reading. And this is the first Virgo that texts me, whether you're inside the United States or outside of the United States. Again, my number is 202-460-3205. If you are outside of the United States, it's... Um, it is, please dial the country code number one and same number 202-460-3205. So I'm going to go with the first Virgo that contacts me via text. And so that'll have a time and date stamp on it. So the very first Virgo that contacts me via text message to say, hey, I like to get a free 30 minute reading from you, then you it's yours. OK, Virgos. So that's what I'm offering today. So what do we know about our Virgos before we get into our reading on today? And for everybody else, it's 50% off until September 22nd to celebrate Virgo season. This is, again, my way of saying thank you. But the very first Virgo, I want to reiterate this, very first Virgo that texted me that you want a free 30-minute reading, I'm going to go by the time and date stamp, and you will get your free 30-minute reading. And I will call you, um, and I will text you, and I'm sorry, I will text you to see when you're available to get you to redeem your, um, your free reading, okay? All right. So what do we know about our Virgos? Virgos are very reserved people. You're very modest, um, very practical, um, very analytical. Um, and you just seek to know and understand things, right? And which is a wonderful thing. And so your polar opposite sign is Pisces. If you want to know why, then call me for your personal reading. But the most likable trait for um, for my Virgos is your conscientiousness, right? You're very conscientious people, right? And so um, you are... You are just like I said. You, you seek perfection, like you're. You seek perfection, perfection for yourself, and then other people around you. But Virgos are excellent people to have on your team um, because they're going to demand that you all, you know, um, do things at the highest level. Um, because everybody, you know, they want everybody to win, and essentially, Virgos just want everybody to win, right? And for pe for lazy people, that rubs them the wrong way, but it also rubs Virgos the wrong way when they're dealing with lazy people. So, um, you know, kudos to all of my Virgos. I know quite a few Virgos, and I really like Virgos. Um, now, so Virgos, if you are not um, vibrating at your highest frequency, which is some of the characteristics that I just shared. And I'm going to also share some more um, characteristics for my Virgos, right? Virgos are also, they're very intellectual people, very intelligent, very analytical, very honest, reliable people. Like I said, perfection is also very loyal, kind, hardworking, and practical. If you find yourself that you're not vibrating at that highest frequency, if you start to feel like you're getting critical, judgmental, you know, a little fussy or even slow in your movement or making decision making, or you just feel kind of like old school, then you want to first of all check the energies around you, right? Check the energies around you because that's affecting you internally, right? Um, and just, like I said, check the energies around you and also see, because that's causing your root chakra to be out of alignment, right? So your root chakra is really all about being grounded, feeling secure that your basic needs are being met and feeling connected to your family and tribal consciousness in healthy ways, right? So you want to check that, right? You really, really want to check that because it can affect you both internally and um, 
externally as well. And some of the things that you can do to get your, your root chakra um, re back realigned is aromatherapy. Um, try and reflexology. You can look those things up on YouTube. Lots of free, great information. Um, also, Hatha Yoga is something that you can do. But this is about getting your root chakra, you know, realigned. Let's get into your reading, okay? Let's get into your reading. And don't forget about the free... 30-minute reading for the first Virgo that sends me a text message so I can do time and date stamps so I can be fair to people who are sending me text messages at 202-460-3205. Let's get into your reading. Most High God in the Universe, please give me a special reading for all of my Virgos as it relates to every area of their lives, specifically in areas of money and wealth, also in areas of power and intellect, also in areas of spirituality and where they need to take action, also in areas of creativity and emotions. What information do we have for our Virgos? All right, Virgos, let's get started. I've had a wonderful time to, with all the Virgos that I've spoken with. You all are some just dynamic people. I just can't say enough about you. Let's see. I see the death card, right? Death and rebirth. I want you all to see this. Because we know death gives way to something beautiful to be reborn. So we're going to put this here for a second, right? And I'm also looking at the moon card. We'll get into that in just a second. Just a second, just a second, just a second. All right. So something had to die in order for you to be reborn okay this is the sword the three of swords card something caused you a great deal of heartbreak heartbreak hurt and pain um and so but it had to die right it had to go because something in you were, was reborn that person was holding on to a lot of secrets this is the moon card right here person was holding on to a lot of secrets the moon card is attached to the pisces the death card is attached to the scorpio you know, what's interesting um, is that their ruling planets are actually retrograde right now. And I'll get into that in just a second. Um, we also have... Um, we also have... Um, this out, you know, outlook of how things are going to turn out for you, right? With all of this. Um, for some of you, you are just kind of sort of over it. Like, seriously, you're just over it. Just over the whole thing, right? You've been in deep thought about all of this, but you're just, I mean, quite frankly, you're just over it. You're just like, okay, I'm just over it. You know, after a person has, <clears throat> after a person has been holding on to all kinds of secrets and just being, I don't know, there's something, if something weird about them, they were just holding on to secrets. So you're in rumination mode, right? Deep thought about something, your introspection mode, kind of withdrawn. And that withdrawal is causing you to be really distracted because you've been thinking about it, right? But you got to see the beauty in all of this, right? The person that was holding on to all those secrets and whatever they were holding on to is, okay, it's over. You know what? It's over. And good for you that it's over, right? So, like I said, you know, um, your... Virgo's opposite sign is the Pisces. And like I said, the moon card is attached to the Pisces. But this person was holding on to a lot of secrets. And it really hurt you that they were holding on to a lot of secrets. They were being, I don't know, just kind of sneaky, you know, kind of. Um, not being open and honest about everything. And, and so your intuition actually told you a whole lot, right? It was kind of a tricky love affair for some people, right? But again, it had to die so that this person inside of you right now could be reborn. No more tricky love affairs for you. The next thing that's coming your way is good, good, good. But first of all, first stop is you loving yourself deeper and harder as a result of all of this, this sneakiness, you know, going on. Um, this, um, Oh, then we also, okay, we already talked about this. We have the two of wands here, right? So the two of wands is about you having prospects. <laughs> you know, what's interesting about Virgos is that they could have really anybody that they want. They really could. Um, but this is about, okay, you know what? I trusted this person. They were being sneaky and deceitful, but that's cool. You know what? That's in the past. You know, I have all these prospects in, ahead of me, you know, um, 
And this is about you advancing, right? All these prospects ahead of you, right? And so, and even with, even when it comes to, you know, um, your money, this is the eight of pentacles. You're a person who is a hustler. So a lot of you may have multiple jobs, but this is attached to your money, right? You may have multiple jobs. You have a lot of stuff going on, but it's good. You know, you have a lot of disciplines. You're a very diligent person. You're very knowledgeable. You just have a, you have a lot of craftsmanship, right? Grit, grind. You're a person who is on your grind, right? So it's like, okay, you know what? That person did that. That's only going to hurt them. It's not really hurting me anymore. Let me just move on. Let me just, let me just move on. So like I said, that absolutely had to happen. That relationship had to die so that this beautiful person can be reborn in you. It had to go. It, it absolutely had to go. Mm -hmm. Look at this Ace of Wands here. You um you know that you have pure potential. You're an inspirational person, and you're illuminating from the inside, right? This is beautiful. Illuminating. Let me push this back for just a second. You're illuminating from the inside. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. You have been able to stand your ground against any challenges. Like this person may want to come back and explain themselves. There's nothing to explain, and you're standing your ground, um, which is great. Let me let me move some things over here for just a second. Um, this person, you weren't even really able to sleep that well because this this four swords is really about it rest it's about rest but you weren't able to really sleep like had you kind of in a fetal position like just just mm. you were sleeping but you weren't sleeping at your best like you could have been sleeping right um which is not not a good thing right but you had to tap into your inner strength you had to tap into the lioness or lion inside of you. You had to tap into that fire in your belly, that gut. Like, okay, listen, I'm protecting myself at all costs. You had to tap into your strength so that you can move forward. You really did. And then we have the five of pentacles. So um, the five of pentacles is about somebody being emotionally wounded. For So for some people, money was also attached to this relationship with this person. But this is about somebody feeling emotionally wounded. But guess what? Mm, 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 mm. Guess what? You're solid. Look at this, the four of wands, your foundation, your backbone, your home life. You are good, right? You're really, really good. You stood your ground. You have a lot of prospects. You know, you're good, right? Um, this did not shake you like they thought it was going to shake you right or like you thought it was going to shake you not at all not at all like i said you stood your ground and look how you came out that person lost that person lost like i said that pisces lost <laughs> they lost big time they lost a very very dynamic person you know what's interesting um What's interesting about a Pisces who is vibrating at a low frequency, I don't know if you all know this, but what's interesting about a Pisces who vibrates at a low frequency is that they're lazy. Like I said, the opposite of a Virgo. They are lazy. They're moody. They're negative. They're idealist. They're escapist, right? And like I said, this person was just, they were holding on to some secrets. And, you know, they should have just, look, 22, spirit right? So for some of you, um, the spirit told you what was going on. Really, for some of you, the spirit told you exactly what was going on. Like a person can only lie but for so long. A person can only be but so sneaky. You know what I'm saying? Like they can, um, they can present themselves to you in one way, but then the spirit is not going to let that go on for too long. It's just not However they try to present themselves or whatever they may have said may have hurt you. But when you found out, you're like, okay, now I got the information. Now I know. Um, what's interesting about this right here, this number is attached to the letter V. Um, and for victory, you claiming the victory. That's what the V is for. You claiming the victory, right? And so... Um, you got the information that you needed. Right. 
and it didn't affect your prospects at all. You you tapped into your inner strength. The relationship needed to go so that it had to happen. That person served a purpose, believe it or not. You know, V is for victory. That's what the number four stands for. That's what it represents. You know, um, V is really about, you know, you were vulnerable at one point. It's about virtue. It's about visualization. It's your visualization as a path to victory, right? That's what V stands for, this number 22 and the number four. That's what this is attached to, the letter V. Um, but yeah, it absolutely had to happen. You stood your ground. You know, you went back to your foundation. You were like, nope, I'm not moving. Mm -mm. Nope, 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 I'm not moving. Even though there was some financial, you know, money or whatever attached. And like I said, it kind of left you emotionally wounded for a minute. But once you got refocused and you hit the reset button, it was like, okay, I'm on and flying. I mean, I have wonderful things are happening for me. See, as a result of them holding on to secrets and not being completely honest with you about something, the only thing they did was set in motion for that karma for them, right? But for you, um, wonderful things started happening for you, right? So that's what I have for you, Virgos. I know you all are having a fantastic day. I know you are. Uh, again, don't forget to, to text me, the very first Virgo that text me to let me know that they want to take advantage of this free reading. I'm using time and date stamps, right? So text me to let me know that you want um, a free reading. And um, for everybody else who comes afterwards, I will send you a text because, again, it's 50% off until September 22nd in celebration of Virgo um, in, in celebration of, um, Virgo season. And so, but again, for the very first person, I'm, I got to reiterate this, the very first person who texts me, not calls, but texts me and said, I want to take advantage of the free 30 minute reading. It's yours. Okay. Bye.